All right, welcome everybody on YouTube and of course here in Twitch chat for some Grixis Legends action. We're changing this deck up a little bit since the last time that we played it, uh, kind of getting rid of Rao and Varric's Blade Wings, uh, bumping up the Thought Erasure count all the way up to four instead of having a couple on the sideboard. Um, the card's just really good, you know, like that. that's just a card that should be a four of. And we're trying out some Karns here. Um, as a four mana planeswalker, that's kind of hard to get off the battlefield um, when it gets up to six loyalty immediately and can uh, be on the battlefield right away for our Yog Moss Vile offering. So let's try out some Grixis Legends. All right. Hopefully, we do a little better than Orza of Knights that we just played. 0 oh 2 there. Yeah, of course, Hero. Yep. The music's not f up on YouTube. Yeah. All right. And uh, while we're starting this here, speaking of YouTube, um, let me fill out the info for Orzhov Knights on there. Ah, not going first. Never lucky. Never lucky. Isn't the best of hands, but I like how our mana base is looking. Or just like how we're starting off with our, our mana here. Oh, I didn't... Oh, I didn't get the... I knew there was something that I was doing. I didn't get the deck list command updated. So I'll have to do that after this match here. Don't remind me to get the deck list command updated. Because it's still on Orzhov Knights. I didn't put the new... Um, didn't put the new deck list on Stream Decker. All right, get Lazav. Hopefully, surveil a land to the graveyard. Yeah, it's basically like drawing a card. Yep, new changes look very good. Do you know that with the new patch, we are only getting a rare after three wins in this event? Yes. I think that's still worth it for the changes overall. So the problem with playing Sarkin right now is I'd have to chump block with Lazav on the J Light Ranger, which I don't necessarily want to do. So let's just go ahead and chart a course discard one of these steam vents and play another one. So what we, what we want to do is have Lazav on the battlefield still on turn 5 where we get to kill something and put this Vivian Reed into play. That's best case scenario. So let's play Thought Erasure here, try to protect Lazav. The good part about Lazav is Lazav has the the very useful power of suck or since Lazav is not a very good card our our opponent's probably just going to ignore it all right well it's definitely take contempt get rid of this land and so we gotta beat two J Light Rangers though, which is a problem. Or sorry, we gotta beat two Carnage Tyrants. Sorry, we have to beat two Carnage Tyrants, which is definitely a problem. Um, if I would have, if I would have just thought Erasure to weigh a Carnage Tyrant, they were likely use Find Finality and get the Carnage Tyrant and a Branch Walker back, and then play the Branch Walker. So that's like the that was like the problem why I didn't take a Carnage Tyrant with the Thought Erasure.
Okay. So, I'm going to get Vivian in play. And... I want to kill Jade Light Ranger, but if I kill Jade Light Ranger, then they're just one mana away from playing Carnage Tyrant. Maybe I just play Bolus. Eldest Reborn, like, I mean, I have Yawgmoth's Vile Offering, which is my Eldest Reborns. I just play Bolas here. Nah. Nah. I'm going to hope they don't draw a land this turn. Hoping they don't draw a land. This is certainly the the best move for us, especially Let's if they don't draw a land. Hey Jason, cool. Glad you've been enjoying the I've seen things that would break some Ravnica like Allegiance re reviews over there on YouTube. Awesome. All right. Well, we found a Niv Mizzet for next turn. Niv Mizzet can race Carnage Tyrant. Okay, good. They did not draw the land, so they got to take a turn off to Jade Light. They got lots of lands now, though. Balance comes. Hmm. I think it's best just to play Niv Mizzet, right? Yeah, that's probably better than anything else. No. Lazav can only become things in my graveyard. So if we if we like discard Niv Mizzet, then Lazav could become Niv Mizzet kind of thing. Do I start just picking off all their creatures or do I start dealing damage to them? Probably pick up, pick off all their creatures, right? So I'm at twelve. I well, mean, we gotta do the damage upstairs. Yeah, there's so many of these one toughness creatures. Yeah, let's let's go elves and let's let's actually just kind of plan on blocking. The wilds are my shield. You will feel the lick. I'll show you unhinged. And I like I like looting with Sarkin, not only to try to find other good cards, but then also because the the loot trigger does does trigger um, Sarkin. Yeah, we got lots of backup boluses. No, I I will not be at GP London. Nope. Thanks, Maskalar. Yeah, the U YouTube uh, the minutes has, have certainly been racking up there. Um, but yeah, I'm still still need to get to a thousand YouTube followers. So, um, I would if you you know if you want to help out and follow the YouTube channel, I would appreciate that. Baba. Baba Louis Luce. Let's see. 
Louis. Thanks for subbing there with Twitch Prime. Let's get some hype votes in the channel. There we go. Thanks, Baba. Um, so I can just block with these two, soak up seven points, and then ultimate Vivian. And keep Niv Mizzet around. They only have one black mana. Yeah, so they're giving us the... They're giving us the Vivian ult. We're going to have indestructible Niv. Yep. Thanks, Baba. One sub to help you out. There you go. Alright, if we get to, to ten subs, we're adding in a, you know, another pack on the RNA pack counter. Brings Dark Horse is a nice reckoning. one. And Niv has Vigilance now. Madness. <laughs> what madness? I should have waited for this, but oh well. Oh yeah, I don't don't know if we can lose this now with Vivian ult with Niv Mizzet and Nicol Bolas. Yeah, they really need to attack with a lot more a lot more cards. We'll just lava coil something just to to cycle. I don't need that lava coil anymore, so might as well cycle it. Alright, Vivian ult with dragons. Ugh, haven't done that one before. Yeah, have not done that one before. Alright, Star of Extinction. Ritual of Soots coming on in. Um, and then... Uh, Definitely trim at least one Rona. Do we trim them both? Yeah, I think so. So we cut Rona. Cut one Sarkin. That's 61. Still like the Lazavs. We can get rid of one of the Lazavs. All right, that looks good to me. Indestructible dragons. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, go Grixis, Splash Green for Vivian. <laughs> Grixis, Vivian for this deck. Sand's very slow. Star of Extinction's great. Oh, uh, well, I was really hoping they didn't have Terminal Land where all they'd be a little slow also. Alright, we got the Lava Coil. That's a good, good start. Let's get that thing out of here. We're gonna need to draw lands if we want to get up to Star of Extinction. Well, I don't, I don't mind that too much. You know that costs two mana, two life every turn to be drawing a card. 
come. How this thing goes is up to you, pal. That takes a while to do. Unfortunately, with having these these dragons, they kind of die to Vivian. And Vivian's really good. Sometimes restoration means retribution. Another Reaper. Okay. So, yeah, they don't have anything in hand for us to discard with this Nicol Bolas. Um... So getting rid of the Nicol Bolas, because it would just die to Vivian. And we're at five mana. We need to wait till two turns to Star of Extinction. But that Midnight Reaper is a huge problem for us. Meet my newest friend. This is not going good. Vivian is kind of too strong. So, if our opponent does not attack with Llanowar Elf, if they just attack with the comes. others, we can kind of be fine. As long as they do not attack with Llanowar Elf. Alright, good. So now attack with the others. We go to one. Just those two. Because because they knew that yeah because I get to make mine a nickel bolus so I was hoping they would attack with the midnight reaper also I was hoping we were going to be able to eat the midnight reaper Get to draw five cards. So we get five cards plus the fine finality. Scars are lessons written in skin. Yeah, eating Reaper would have been our lucky day. Yeah. Yeah, next turn. So next turn we can Sarkin and Vile Offering. They don't have... They don't have very much, though. They drew lots of lands. That's good for us. So we're going to Sarkin and Vile Offering, destroy Midnight Reaper, and put Carnage Tyrant into play. Oh, I didn't mean to play that land. Ugh, I wanted to cycle that land. I just kind of instinctually played that land. 
The dragon whispers of your demise. So now I'm just taking up for nothing. I know what I'm doing. I mean, if they contempted the Sarka in response, that, that in response to the vial offering, the vial offering would still resolve, kind of thing. Oh, if they, oh yeah, they could have, they could have contempted in response to the tick up with Sarkin. So yeah, I, I certainly looked at that first, for sure. All right, so is there any spell that I would... Yeah, I don't think there's a, a spell, really, that I'd want to... That we need to, like, ask Kanta into right now. Let's just play Karn. I am Karn. Yeah, 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 you're Karn. We get you it. You regret that choice. All right, so I could... I could get Thought Erasure. And looks like we got Thought Erasure. Ooh. Uh, Coil is a good card. So they can Contempt the Karn, but I don't want them to be able to Eldest Reborn away my Carnage Tyrant. Do I want to attack him for seven? Attacking him for seven puts him down to six, where then they can then flip blood fast so the answer is no no Luke I don't play ranked yeah they did yeah they drew a card so right So I have one card we don't know about in hand currently. Hopefully it's a spell. That's a duress. I guess that's a spell. Yeah, we've heard yeah, I've heard best of three ranked is coming next month. Hit them down to six. You can hit them down to six. They cannot flip blood fast yet. Oh no, four. What I, what am I doing with math? That's four. But yeah. Down to four, yeah. Yeah. So that's okay. Yeah, not interested, Luke, in the rank stuff. I like playing best two out of three game matches. But we're still doing just fine. So Jade Light. So they can sack. They can sack one Jade Light and block with the other to not die. Because they get they get to attack me for three here. Okay, they are not attacking. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I can't activate as Kanta and play Nivmizet still. Let's just do that. 
Will I play best of three ranked? Probably not. Um, puts him to seven. And we got him. All right, Biko Gari. Biko Gari. Playing, I know, I mentioned this earlier. Um, you know, talked about this earlier, but I, I'm, I'm sure I'm just gonna get this question all the time, so I have to, gonna have to keep answering it. But I'll keep answering it. Um, best of three rank doesn't, I don't think that that's the most beneficial to me streaming here because I like to play lots of different uh, fun and janky decks and, and try out different things and that's just not, you know, you don't want to be playing ranked matches with a bunch of new brews. And so I, I don't think that the two work that well together. And I think the setup here of you just play until you win five matches or if you um, lose two matches, I think that setup does work very well for streaming with new decks and everything. And so that's why I will likely not be playing much ranked, even with best of three. All right, so they're thought erasuring my thought erasure. Interesting. Hmm. No. Don't like how that land just comes into play tapped first also, but you know, we're going to need more mana for this Niv Mizzet if we ever plan on getting to it. Yeah, we could certainly I could certainly do that my myself also and just track it myself and just keep the same of win five or lose two. Um, I also prefer the other thing about that is I, I prefer the entry fee and winning gold. I think you win a lot more gold by doing just doing that. Um, he told me I would find you here. Bolas by by doing these I events do than just just doing that yourself because you don't you don't win any prizes until the end of the month where you just get what like five if you're mythic they gave you five packs and a thousand gold that's basically nothing compared to just doing these events over and over so I think I want to discard Niv Mizzet yeah I want to discard Niv Mizzet because. We'll just get that back in play here. And I don't I don't really want to be, you know, like platinum two and then play like whatever crazy deck that I feel like playing or that somebody donates for, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, just don't don't really want to. I'd rather have the entry fee, play an event, win prizes. Entry fee, play an event, win prizes. Rather do that. I think the only benefit of playing the ranked is so you can tell people you are whatever rank. And that is not my goal as a streamer, to be able to tell people I am whatever rank. My goal is to have the best entertainment possible, and I, and I don't think that that's the, the way, in my opinion. Um, 
play in Grixis. So I'm going to want Bloodfast. Do I want Negate? I think so. Bloodfast, Negate, Contempt. These are all like maybes. I may not play all those. Um, as far as cards that I don't think I want, Coils are great against Nicol Bolas, but they don't really do anything against other things. I don't think I need Contempts, honestly, with having Yawgon's File Offering, actually. We can, I think we can take those out. I may not, maybe I just don't sideboard. Do I just take out Charter Course? The problem is I want, I definitely want Lava Coil, because I, I could certainly see them playing Thief of Sanity. I don't want to cut my Lava Coils. Um... Whatever. I'm not I'm not even gonna sideboard. I like our deck. Yeah, I did, was running out of time. I just got stuff. We'll just go back and run the same same sixty. Yeah, see like our opponents are gonna expect us to bring in tons of negates and stuff like that and act accordingly. And so I think I actually like not doing that. And not doing what they think we're gonna do. Do you know if they will change the weekly 15 win packs to RNA? Yeah, they yeah, that'll be changed. Yeah, that that that's a kind of thing that will will certainly change. Getting some digging through our lands here with these charter courses. I advise the choices we make reveal who we are. This is bad. So seeing a little bit more of their deck. Does not really look like they're going to be on Thief of Sanity or Legion War Boss Plan or something like that. Our <laughs> there is great Seeing power. Essence Scatter, Chemist's Insight, Eldest Reborn. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Yeah, they really cared about Lazav there. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. All right, let's attack this Karn. We got a little two-two army. Please do not do that. No, the, the pack counter is the amount of packs that I'm going to be buying whenever the set comes out for getting choice. the amount of subs that we've gotten in the last few days. Alright, Sarkin was quickly down. Looks like our opponent doesn't care about Lava Coil too much. Interesting. How convenient. An excellent choice.
could certainly see this getting Sinister Sabotaged. Um, but then our Sarkham being able to resolve. So they do have Sinister Sabotage. And they have Syncopate as well. Um, could just take Eldest Reborn. In fact, I think I am just going to take Eldest Reborn. Um, yeah, not really a reason to play this Sarkin, right? I play Sarkin, they counter it kind of thing. I, like, let them use their mana. Like, they get to cast the Opt, sure. But we're going to kind of make them keep this mana up. We're doing pretty good here. All right, their Opt found another Opt. Oh, I would love if they added an attack all to the Planeswalker option. You know, if it that was like an option, like attack all car and attack all Vivian, you know, like that kind of thing. Certainly love that. Well chosen. So yeah, so they shocked in here so they could chemistry's insight. Yeah, this is certainly a negate matchup for what we've seen here. They're very counter heavy. Still gonna pass the turn, I'll let them insight. Next turn we can double spell. It's gonna be harder to double spell now with this vile offering, with us not having a legendary in play. I'm I'm pretty glad they took the vile offering honestly because we don't have a way to cast that. <laughs> yeah, chicken sandwich arena. Yeah, magic is certainly hard. Memorial to genius. Hmm. Yeah, at least our tokens are doing work. That's certainly true. I don't think I should have played that land. I think I should have kept that land in hand in case of a Nicol Bolas to discard. I don't think I should have played that land. I'm going to be playing uh, Limited on Thursday. I won't have the cards right away, so I'm going to have to build up collection for the first few days. So we'll be, we'll be playing Sealed on Thursday, doing a 12-hour stream on Thursday from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. No fuck here be monsters. Yeah, I shouldn't play that land.
with the sub. There's sub number 10 on the day. Thank you so much, Luke. Thanks for the support there. And that means that gets to our six RNA pack. Get into that next sub goal there. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Uh, whatever happened to your green white value deck in modern? Um, honestly, I just don't. I don't really pay attention to modern right now, so I don't. I don't know. I haven't played modern in months. Lazav. Yeah, there's nothing to copy but Lazav right now. Oh, come on. Uh, discarding that vile offering just being real bad for us. Go on. Hit me again. I just don't have a second red source. Hey, Zerf, going pretty good. No fire, good. no steel. I like standard more, and I like arena more. And more people watch standard and arena also. So, not really any reason to play modern. Today's forecast is cloudy, with a high chance of me winning. Correct. Aisha, I'm going to be opening the packs on Thursday. This game, this game's over. Um, we're gonna be re-sideboarding. They didn't. All right, so yeah, their deck is a little different than I anticipated. Here, seeing more of their deck, so let's re-sideboard. So let's get these negates in here and the blood fasts. Um. They do have a couple nickel boluses, but we'll still have Vile Offering. Trim one there. We can't play too many Vile Offerings, though. Because um, they can just get stuck in our hand if we don't have a legendary creature or Planeswalker on the battlefield. Hmm. Not very much removal for me. Oh yeah, it'd be it'd be great to have some more squee. Squee is pretty great. Terminal is off. No, no Jaya's Inferno. Um, it's a card that. I think it's kind of worse than Yawgmoth's Vile Offering, and it's kind of hard to have too many of too many of those. Rona is a solid card. Um, you know, it's it's of course a legendary creature, but you know, like it it can get stuff like. Are they gonna have Spell Pierce? Sure, hope not. It can get stuff like, um, like Search Risk Cancer, Argyle's Bloodfast, that's in the graveyard for five mana. Uh, we could, like, you know, like, if they use a discard spell on Bloodfast. Yeah, it's not, it's not a land. It can just recast something else in the graveyard. All right, Bolas, Eldritch Reborn, Ral, Sabotage. So I don't really have an answer to these threats at all. Yeah, now, I wish they would have had this hand last time. <laughs> I 
I don't think I take sabotage. Um, I'm gonna take one of these threats, and I guess it's Eldest Reborn. It's either Eldest Reborn or Ral. It'll take them a long time to recur the thing though with Eldest actually, so I'm not going to take Eldest. I'm going to take one of the other things. I'm going to take Bolas. I know that's, so that's a land and I, and I certainly want a land, but with us having another Azkantac uh, thing here, I think we can probably find another land. We have a bunch of negates in our deck, too. Which is another reason why I'm uh, taking the bolus, because I have like negates for the other things. Alright, so we have a bolus in our graveyard. If Rona resolves... We get to exile Bolas and then be able to cast Bolas. Looks like it does. Looking for Nagate. There's a Nagate. That's unfortunate. That is also unfortunate. That couldn't go any worse for us. Literally could not go any worse for us. Never mind. Never mind. We found a way for it to go I worse. Have faced worse than all. Yeah, those like Say hello those are great to cards. My little friend. Bleh. I gotta do the same thing too, make a one one so that Elvis Reborn doesn't I just get rid of my car. I didn't attack with Rona because of the activated ability on Rona. Really? Come on. Silent. My employer sends his regards. Awaken. Come on. Alright, we'll go get, put in Nickel Ball, let's kill this Tezzeret. The stakes are Make them clear. discard one of these cards. So, Ral... Ral can minus and kill Nickel Bolas. And then Karn's gonna die from attacking attacking Karn. Karn will die. So do I want to tick up Karn or minus Karn for like my last thing to do with this Karn before it's dead? I want to minus it. 
Batman guy with the sub. Must be built. Thanks, Batman guy. You are sub number 11. Excited to see what you do for the next standard format. Oh man, I'm excited to play the next standard format, that's for sure. Welcome. Huh. That's interesting. We just get to eat one of these? That's interesting. It is best if you stop. Oh, they would row minus and kill Nicol Bolas and not let us eat it. Good choice. Always nice to get out. I have some bad news for you. Which, yeah, they they ended up doing that. Uh, do I need the sixth mana? No. attack. Karn or Ral? Attack I Karn, make it harder for them to make a, another token. Nah, Karn, Karn costs four mana. I would have had to play Rona and play Karn that costs seven mana. I only have six. Guess we give him another Karn. Decision time. We're gonna need to draw more Yogmas Vile offerings. Oh, I mean Judith is Judith is gonna be a really good card. Um, I'm not sure if he'll necessarily need a combo deck for Judith, but yeah, it's a really good card. So much stuff. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. All right, do I want to squee or chart a course? I squee. And the chart, of course, will protect well, the blood fast. Let's see what the wind blows in. If we can even afford that these days. This will not deter me. <laughs> there is great power in the thief you make. We'll need to find more Yogmas vile offerings. I will fight for my friends. Oh. It's like the only thing that can save us right now. Our opponent had the hand we wish they would have had last game this time, and last game they had the hand we wish they would have had this time. Kind of thing. Their two hands, really wish they had them flipped. Wish they had all these threats and stuff last time and had all the counter magic this time. Yeah, I already played one Vile Offering. There's only two others.
Karn exiles with the silver counter. Are you certain of your decision? I don't think we can win. So they just get... Get Tezzeret. And Nicol Bolas. Yeah, this is just over. Look at all this. Alright, we're one and one. We are one and one. All right, let's try again. New game. New game. Too many planeswalkers for our opponent that game. Which was kind of weird. We didn't see nearly that many planeswalkers the first two games, but they just had them all that third game, and I didn't have a good answer for them. Yeah, and I didn't even bring in Star of Extinction in that matchup. I had it in my sideboard. I didn't even bring it in. Wonder Melodies. We're playing against another awesome streamer. Remember, she hosted my stream like, like a week ago or so. Do you think Judith could fit well in Rakdos midrange? you are playing these days. Uh definitely potentially. Yeah, yeah, no, it would it would fit well in that deck. Um I'm not sure if um we'll have to see what uh you know we'll have to see like what that really does to the format. Um like what just the new set will do to the format and everything and like what you want to play in that deck. So I don't think Wonder Melodies should have casted that opt there because if I just look at their hand, I'm not, you know, like they kept the card on top, whatever was the opt, it's likely that Crackling Drake. Um, but I think that they should just, because like I'm not going to take opt with Thought Erasure, right? Like I just take Chart of Course and then they try to opt and find something better. Yeah, Siege Gang with Judith, definitely. Hey, Dex. Okay. Our hand's looking pretty decent. Especially if we get to untap with a Nicol Bolas in play and get to cast the Yawgmoth's Vial Offering. And kill something and put a Crackling Drake into play. So I think I'd rather just have, I think I'd rather just have two boluses than, because next turn I'm, next turn I'm certainly playing a bolus, I'm not going to be playing Rona the next turn, um, but then if, if this bolus gets answered, I'd rather just have another bolus, like, because how I'm, like, you know, I was playing bolus the next turn, probably playing Vile Offering, I just wasn't going to be playing the Rona there. Hey Dirk. Yeah, half of Judith says non-token, the other half doesn't. Um, yeah. Let's see if there's a dive down. I 
It is two different targets, so... Oh, Spell Pierce is the worst for us. That's the worst for us. Cool, Spanky. Good. Yeah, Dive Down would not have been that bad. Spell Pierce, though, real bad. So we had to play both Sarkin and Nicol Bolas. Unless this gets spell pierced also. Let us fight. They are coming. Yeah, that spell pierce was huge. So I'm one mana away from being able to transform the Nicol Bolas. I certainly want to do that. So I don't think I want to block. All right, so they surveilled over a couple lands. How are we doing on instants and sorcery count? Three. So if we have... Don't doubt my methods. So if I go get Crackling Drake, Crackling Drake will not... This omnipotence. The dead shall be able to serve me. Not be able to tussle with their Crackling Drake. No dive down. No dive down certainly good for us. I don't need this. I need this. All right, still no dive down. Let's draw two cards. My genius is unmatched. And we do have a, um, we do have a Nicol Bolas in the graveyard, so Lazov can turn into a Nicol Bolas and become a 4-4 flyer to be able to block a Drake. We've dealt with a lot of Drakes, so so far we've dealt with one, two, two Enigma Drake, two Crackling Drake. So that's what we've dealt with so far, two Enigma Drake, two Crackling Drake. Yeah, it's just pretty slow to, like, let that Bolas die. That takes up our entire turn of mana the next turn. And I think it's probably better just to not do that. Alright, we got Ravenous Nickel Bolas. I know what must be done. All right, we get to discard the squee. Yes. <laughs> Best thing ever, discarding squee. Drawing a card. Perfect. Yeah, vile into bolus is pretty, pretty sweet. 
Yeah, Nicobol is also being Ravenous Chupacabra. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent! I always have an answer. All right, bunch of dragons. You've never seen a Bolas ultimate? Ah, yeah, it doesn't happen too often. Doesn't happen too often at all. All right, let's get a couple contempts in here, and uh, probably a bunch of negates to, so they can't save their uh, drakes as much. Uh, no, amen. That's not my plan. Um, we're gonna cut Rona. Sarkin, Karn. Lazav's good. Lazav's been working just fine. I like it quite a bit. Rona here dies to shock, which is a, a big problem for us. The whole dying to shock thing. Um, I got four more cards. I guess I'm trimming one Lazav. And. Did I get rid of some Charter Courses? No. So I only get rid of one Sarkin. That gives us a 62. Do I just get rid of the two Karns? I just get rid of the Karns. Yeah. Actually, I like getting rid of the Karns. Okay. Here we go. Ugh. Just bought a Tron deck! Nice! Get that Ugonult. Heck yeah. Tron's a fun deck. Alright, she's Mulligan, we'll Mulligan too. Oh no. It's going down to five. We'll keep our six. Six is real good. Yeah, it is that is a good first modern deck. Alright, we got an Azkantamir. Azkantamir. <laughs> yeah, you won't have to worry about the fifth card thing happening anymore. So do I want to coil the, the Drake right now or Thought Erasure? I think I'll just coil the Drake. So I want to land for be able to chart a course and thought erasure. So if if it's not a land, I'm probably putting it in the graveyard with Search for Scanty here. Charter course. Um, do I just discard the other charter course? Yeah, I mean, I think I want contempt in the gate. Do you have any rough drafts for a Bant Nexus deck for next standard? Not really. No, I haven't. I haven't really started with any kind of rough drafts for anything. Uh, just, um, you know, I know I'll I'll be playing limited the first few days whenever it's on arena and then kind of going from there with like what cards we open up and, and that kind of stuff. I know <clears throat> I know I could have put that in the graveyard and flipped Escanta. But I actually think I just want the other land. 
they're limited is draft and sealed construct like limited and constructed are the two different things um so yeah limited has draft and sealed constructed has like standard modern other things like that um i like them i like them all i i prefer constructed the, the most which that's basically all i stream is constructed So even though I put Niv-Mizzet in the graveyard, with us having Yawgmoth's Vile Offerings in our deck, I think it's fine to have a Niv-Mizzet in the graveyard. And of course we can find Vile Offering with Ascanta. Well, our other Niv Mizzet's at the bottom of the library now. That's a good card. They still get to draw like three cards. All right, just two. It's Spell Pierce, not Dive Down. Niv is out of here. I could like see if I hit a Sarkin. Yeah, let's see if we hit Sarkin. We could also just hit Thought Erasure. Yeah, if only we had a legend. Hopefully not another Nim is it. All right, so you, as you see in the, the black text box there, you can cast a legendary sorcery if you control a legendary creature or planeswalker. So you have to have a legendary creature or planeswalker. Would really like to have one more land where we could have had double negate. That would have been nice. Alright, they had Beacon Bolt. That's a great card to discard. Maybe I should have just waited for one more land to be able to have negate to pr my other negate as well. So, shock it, taking the land and shocking in here. So, um, I can activate Ascanta and still have two mana up. And I certainly wanted another land.
We've seen... Okay, we saw two Thought Erasures earlier. That's right, we surveilled a Thought Erasure to the graveyard. Or explored it, or whatever you call it without Skanta. We do need more Squee. Agreed. Squee great. Stop. Stop tapping one of my two red sources. Nah, squee. Come on back. Alright, so I can probably play around Spell Pierce. Alright, so that's their third coil. Star of Extinction. That one's kind of scary. Destroys my Ascanta. Everything, everything will be all right, all right. Still don't have many red sources, like I can't even play Lava Coil and Sarkin. Yeah, I wish like another one of these was a red source. Alright, so that's all their lava coils. Alright, good. No Niv Mizzet. This is a long, drawn-out game. It's a good one. All right. It's all of our red sources down at the bottom. Okay. So, Sarkin costs three. Vile Offering costs five. All right, so I'm not going to play Sarkin plus Vile Offering here. Who are you to call me? I know what I'm doing. The Vile Offering would be just to, to, like, now that we can cast it, just to put Niv-Mizzet into play, basically. Alright, this Star of Extinction time? 
or nah? Which, of course, we would absolutely be negating the Star Extinction because we want to keep our Escanta around. Looks like the answer is nope. Another Escanta. All right, let's get rid of the Star of Extinction. I guess they still have Beacon Bolt. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't like how she's casting Opt here before that because I wouldn't be taking, I wouldn't take the Opt. I'll just take Star, Star of Extinction here. And now I have, like, more information. Alright, so chart a course. Draw two, discard Spell Pierce. How many cards she has? 22? Hmm... Like, I wouldn't take Opt, but Charter Course is tempting to take. Nah, I'll still just take Star. As Cant is too good. I guess I have another As Cant, though. I don't need this. I need this. All right, so we got 27 cards in our library. She's got 19. Discarded. What a steam vents. Okie dokie. We're going to start knowing our top card here real soon. I guess after this. I guess that's Kanta's not any good anymore. I have basically nothing to get with it. You have basically nothing to get with that. I don't even have three red. Yeah, I mean, I'll have to use Sarkin. I will call the dragons. No, don't use Ascanta. But of course they have Beacon Bolt to get rid of it. Um. We can have Lazav turn into a Niv Mizzet, of course. Also, next turn. I'm not sure if I want to negate. I don't think I negate a beacon bolt here on Niv Mizzet. Well, there's another negate on top. Now it's tempting if with another negate on top. Uh, you don't, so it's put, um, so it's put up to one creature or planeswalker from a graveyard and destroy up to one. So you, I could cast Vile Offering without there being anything over here to, to destroy. Uh, 
Esper Legends and RNA, what legendary creatures do you play besides Lazav and Raph? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly. Uh, Bard, I don't think that's a good card. I mean, if you're playing Esper, you probably want to play the Angels, right? Like, you'll have Shalai, Lyra, all that kind of stuff. Um, Ariel. Not, maybe not Ariel. Yeah, probably not Ariel. I think you'd play the new Seraph of the Scales. Is that legendary? No, actually, I don't think that's legendary. Do you have to win before we get milled out? Yeah, Chromium, that'd be a good one. I think I may have just not activated Sarkin last turn. Yeah, I forgot Sarkin. Uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Decline. Oh, yeah, I can see my library because uh, I've just, I've gone through it with Ascanta so much. Ascanta has put the cards at the bottom and everything. I can see what's been there. Oh, yeah, I've, I've played lots and lots of Underrealm Lich here with, like, donation decks and everything. Uh, but, yeah, that Underrealm Lich is, is very powerful. Vile Offering's a sorcery. I can't just Vile Offering. Uh, like, on end step whenever I activate Lazov. So we're at 17 cards. We need to make sure I don't mill out. Demands power. So we can get another Nicol Bolas in here. Or sorry, we can get another uh, Niv Mizzet in here. I probably should have just got the other Niv Mizzet in here. Just for, for fun. For having that. Because, you know, like, this is still, this is Lazav the Multifarious. That's not Niv Mizzet. No, I'm sure she's just talking with chat and stuff and, and talking through plays and things and just, you know, like the, you know, the timer just went to that. She's not playing slow or anything. I'm just keeping the card on top. Oh, crap. I wanted to keep it on top. Just please let me cast this file offering Wonder Melodies. Just let me cast it. Hooray! Get Niv Mizzet in play. Come on, let me do it, let me do it!
Let me get two nib visits. Yeah, double nib visit. You gonna spare the one nib visit? You think one nib visit's unbeatable? What if you have two nib visits? Talk about unbeatable. That's like double unbeatable. Double Niv Mizzet. Thank you. Oh, we broke the game. Some people have nightmares of Niv Mizzet. Man, if you'd see a second one in play. That would be quite scary. <laughs> this is a victory song here. All right, two and one. Hmm. That was a really good game. That was a really good game. Uh. This could be bad. It's, it's just so hard winning on, on five cards. I'm keeping the six here with a scry. So we, you know, if we hit the, the land drop, we could do some things. No, you cannot transform a copy Nicol Bolas. Because it's, it's still Lazav. Uh, it doesn't have the back part. It doesn't have a Nicol Bolas theorism. And, you know, like even the seven man ability says exile Nicol Bolas the Ravager, but it's still named Lazav the Multifarious. All right, craving, demise, sit, sit, sit. Uh, maybe contempt too. Just things that kill stuff. We'll take out two vile offering, two Rona, a squee, some Lazavs. And we just kind of take all those things out. Maybe I just cut more vile offerings. May need to just get rid of all the vile offerings. Which is unfortunate. And we'll get three negates in here also. Uh, vile offering is going to be pretty slow here, and besides my creatures, there's not really creatures on their side that I want to get. I guess like Tempest Gen, of course. Just going to be too hard to pull off. All right, let's see what happens here. We got plenty of lands. Need to keep my blue sources because we need three blue so sources for uh, Nickel Bolas. We'll be discarding this mountain to the chart, of course. <laughs> if Lazav transformed into lasagna and you ate him. Would he be able to transform after you use the restroom, or would you be dead? That's like one of life's greatest mysteries. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Well, last game, we couldn't get more than one land. In this game, the opponent only has one land. All right, now, now they're going. Perfectly fine. Time for Nicol Bolas to do its thing. 
Make him discard and start attacking. play a new Nicol Bolas. Nah, we'll just play Karn. I that resolved pretty quickly. Alright, we need another blue source. Drowned Catacomb gets us there. Oh, for Niv Mizzet next turn. I am Karn. Mono Blue doesn't lose too often whenever they're hitting with Curious Obsession. We're going to try to make that happen here. Doesn't happen that often, though. That's worse for me. Yeah, I could have moment of craving when they were tapped out. Um, usually wanted to save the moment of craving for a creature that had Curious Obsession, but at that point I kind of thought that I'd be using mana for the other turns of the game. Good choice. Let's get our Niv Mizza back. No one can stand in my way. Isn't death amusing? Hey Kiku image. So why didn't they just make my creature a, a Mist Cloak Herald? Kinda of surprised they didn't just make it a Mist Cloak Herald. Or if they would have just made it another Nickel Bolus, would it maybe it would have died? Drawn like any removal. So I'm going after the both 1 1s here and killing them because they probably have a dive down for the 2 2. A curious choice. Yeah, I should pretty much win here. That's a lot of lands. Well, that's true, I did have a negate. We got a grip full of real estate.
so much real estate going on here. So our opponent needs blockers. No Merfolk Trickster. That would have been like their best card. Your patience is rewarded. All right, and we got him. Yeah, our land and sleep. That would've been real good for them. Okay. Going to game three. Thank you, Niv Mizzet. And don't think I'm changing anything. Let's try this again. I'll take a seven land hand with a Niv Mizzet on the battlefield anytime. <laughs> as long as we can have Nimbus on the battlefield against Mono Blue. It's our like our best card in this matchup. It's of course difficult to cast, it costs a lot of mana, but it's really hard for them to deal with. Eh. Maybe I'll play some best of three ladder. I don't really care to though. I'd rather win gold playing these events. Hmm. So we got. We'll keep. Don't love our hand. Um, but we're on the draw. Hopefully we can get another land that's an untapped land. Untapped land. Untapped land. Oh no. No, we're dead. I had their combo. One drop curious obsession. That's the mono blue combo. real bad for us because the fact they're throwing the other curious obsession on there most likely means they have dive down yep this looks like we're about to be two and two all right so coil's not going to work so I need to find Ritual of Soot or Golden Demise and another land. Golden Demise so it doesn't kill this thing though either. I need to find Ritual of Soot and another land. So that time they're going to be drawing at least four more cards. So I, I don't think I can win this. Yeah, that's great hand there, opponent. Should have mulliganed. Like... I would have mulliganed if they kept their seven, but they went to six, so I was I was thinking they were gonna have a, a weaker hand with them going to six there, and ours was safe. It wasn't good, it was safe. Um, and with them going to six, I thought I could keep a, a safe hand, but you know, their hand ended up being very good, and my safe hand got destroyed. All right, so we got our gold back, and we got a demanding dragon. So I liked the changes that we made to the deck. Um, I think the Karns, the Karns ended up being pretty good for us. I liked that change there, and yeah, I think I think I could have just made a better Mulligan decision uh, that last game. Um, could have sideboarded betterly against the other Grixis person for game two. So we had decisions we could have made to to do a little better there. Um, but there we go. Grixis Legends was was fun yet again. And there we go. All right, if you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And, of course, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.